I go to the grocery and it makes me sad when I look at the meat counter and all I see is a huge row of chicken, a huge row of beef, and usually a small row of pork. And that's it. Well, those animals don't exist in the way that we once knew them, as factory animals. So most of these meats are really not the ones that we started with anyway. There's a whole panoramic vision of what we can eat that I just think we're not exploring well enough. Gator meat's not the most flavorful meat in the world, so we're gonna give it a little bit of help by adding country ham. Now it goes to the breading stage. When we think about what lasts and what stays, I used to go to the public library in New York. I would just go randomly walk up and down the library stacks, and I'd look for books of poetry. If there was like a book that hadn't been checked out in 50 years, I would check it out and, and, and read it. It's crazy to think that there was a book in the library that no one had read, no one had touched for 50 years and was just sitting there. And a lot of people that I know, you know, we collect old cookbooks and look at them. There's constantly things to be discovered in old cookbooks. You don't have to cook this long, because obviously it's super thin. I'm going to make a quick pan sauce. I love Facebook and Instagram. But there was a time before all that when the stuff that you cooked was really just hardcore, here this day and gone tomorrow, and no one remembered it. Because back then, people didn't take pictures of food. If you really liked it, they maybe, you know, talked about it and remembered it. Food has this kind of pseudo-permanence now. Or at least we think it does, because we document it. Just go to the restaurant and experience it whole and completely new and being surprised, versus seeing the entire 12-course menu already laid out before you, and so you have this preconceived notion of what you're going to eat. That's not doing the food justice. And that's not doing the chef justice. So, mm, delicious. Gator schnitzel down. Love this pickled cauliflower. more black pepper. That's gator schnitzel. Very simple. 